Okay, uh, why don't we start? Uh, today I'm gonna talk about overview of Tikiron modules. It's going to be a somewhat uh, unusual webcast where I'm gonna be talking very briefly about the modules and uh, some recommendation of which module to use if you are a day trader, swing trader or investor, okay? Um, so my name is Sergey uh, Savastyuk. I have a PhD in applied mathematics. Uh, I'm gonna talk about the Tikiron modules today. So we're gonna start right here. Um, what is the difference between the day traders and the swing traders? Uh, those uh, who claim to be swing traders, they tend to keep a position days and weeks. Those who are day traders uh, try to close pretty much all position within a day. And that's kind of the main difference. So what I'm gonna to cover today is as follows. I will cover what are the buy sell alerts we produce pretty much for the home webpage. Uh, then I will talk who are the swing traders and what the uh, modules we recommend to use. Then I will talk about the day trading. And then uh, I will talk about the robots for day traders and about the screener, which can be used by the traders and the speed traders, okay? So why don't we start uh, right uh, here? It is a home watch list. You get here by simply uh, logging in and you uh, click on the home and you always are going to see this home watch list. Uh, uh, the main feature of this list is that you can uh, pretty much everywhere on the side to uh, click uh, to uh, set up uh, some uh, alerts like that. You see, this is alert. So for instance, you can say, I want a particular price target and get alert. I want to see buy or sell. Let's say I want to see both buy and sell. Okay. Uh, or I want to see some technical signals to be sent to me, or I want to see some price options, or I want to see earnings reports. Let's say I want to see earnings report on my email. I click start. And then regardless where you do that, you pretty much uh, see that uh, bell, you're going to be able to set it up. Okay. As soon as you do it at any point, uh, at any page of our uh, website, you're going to see that added to this home watch list. Uh, okay? Hi, Doc, can I help you? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, that's okay. You can join right right now. I just started. I'm talking about the how to set up a watch list. It's a home watch list. You can set it up pretty much anywhere or add uh, right here uh, by uh, clicking, let's say, Facebook. You can click Facebook and add it right here, okay? Uh, add, boom, and then, okay, and now it's added. So interesting feature of this particular watch list is that we are recording when it was added, okay? So for instance, you see Alcala was added on November 10, 2021. So it has been like a couple of months, right? So that's a February 2nd uh was added uh that was june uh over last year uh september last year may you see this was added uh by particular time and now you remember what was the gain since the uh, addition to this watch list okay so uh it is a kind of a a, a good thing to see and then I, I just added, you see, this is a no gain because uh, today I just added Facebook because I think it dropped today like 20%. Um, and then um, we will see what's going to happen in a few months. Okay. So we add uh, this watch list of stocks. There is a separate watch list for ETFs, but everything on uh, the same page, right? So you can add uh, all the uh asset classes uh, we have okay uh so again uh how to do that how to add anywhere you see this type of uh, bell you can add click on click and then you're going to get emails uh, based on the uh this type of uh, uh notifications okay 
so then uh, the important thing is that if you want to get a very brief uh, overview of a particular ticker, you click on the ticker and then you see what's going on. You see more information, you see chart. And then if you want then uh, to get to the, uh, we call it ticker page, it's pretty much everything here we know about, uh, uh, let's say in this case, uh, Alcala, okay? Um, so you see, this is a, a bell, again, set up uh, signals. You click here and you get the same uh, page. If you wanna get another ticker, you go to on the right corner, you type, uh, uh, let's say, whatever, C, CD group, boom, and you're gonna immediately jump to another page, ticker page for the uh, CD, uh, CD group, okay? So what do you see here uh, in this page? You, you, you pretty, see, pretty much see everything, different charts, the commentaries per each interval. So for instance, here you see it is analyzing what happened over the day, okay? Uh, we are analyzing here what was the, uh, uh, the situation, uh, whether or not it opened with a gap, without gap. You see, this is a one month commentary uh, and everything. Then we also giving uh, some technical analysis in these articles, uh, including the fundamental analysis in these articles. Then we give all kinds of uh, uh, dividends. Um, then uh, we get uh, some information related to the ticker C, uh, to the city group, you see Bank of America, XLF, it is a ETF for the financials and all others, major banks. There's a lot of information here, including the, some uh, correlations to the city corp, let's say uh, highly correlated stocks, okay? That's its entire group, right? Or there are other uh, groups which are associated with the city group and then correlated uh, to uh, the particular tickers of the entire group, okay? Uh, this is a correlation to the uh, particular stocks. So for instance, Bank of America correlated to 83%, which means uh, the Bank of America is trailing Citigroup uh, 83% uh, uh, of the time, okay? So there's a lot of uh, meaningful information right here, uh, and then uh, you, you're gonna be able to use it, okay? So uh, as you can see, I covered uh, briefly, uh, what is the, uh, I'm sorry, right here, uh, buy sell alerts, okay? So the next one is swing trading, okay? Uh, let, let me uh, do the following, okay? So when you have a, a day trading uh, goal, so that means you don't wanna trade all day long, uh, you kind of work as an engineer or as a truck driver, you kind of access that not quite often, then uh, you pretty much uh, interested in the end of day type of tools, okay? So you go here, it's still trading. So you see uh, pattern search engine and then trend prediction engines, these tools for the end of day. Okay, so these are the real time patterns. Uh, they're going to be for the day trading. Okay, so uh, this one's for the uh, swing trading. Okay, for the swing traders, there are some robots which are uh, allowing to get uh, signals uh, specifically. Here are some engines which you can pretty much uh, adjust yourself. So let, let me give you a brief introduction what you can do as a swing trader, okay? Um, so what you have is like, I'm, I'm gonna uh, do the following, okay? Um, I'm going to show you what type of a patterns our AI goes to the market pretty much every day for the end of day data. You see, this is end of day, okay? Uh, and finds them. You see, uh, like uh, some people finding this type of a channels uh, by their own naked eyes, right? So we we have a software which goes to the market and finds these patterns. Uh, famous pattern cup and handle, or flag, or head and shoulder bottom, right? Uh, either bullish or bearish, okay? So we have about 39 uh, different types of patterns. Let, let's go inside 
And then uh, you see, we give a description how to use uh, this type of patterns. We give a lot of statistics of, of how we find them and what happens with them, okay? Uh, so we distinguish two types of patterns, confirmed and em em emerged. And the confidence level is how confident our tool is that it's going to get to the distance to target. What is distance to target? As you can see, this says the pattern goes down up and, and then when it crosses this line, this is a target price. So that means distance to target, this is a potential gain you can have when it goes through the breakout. So when the price goes through the breakout, we can predict with some particular confidence what is going to happen and whether or not it's going to reach that target price. So the target price uh, is such that it calculated in the distance like it is 5% gain uh, and with confidence 80, 60%. The 67% is going to make uh, 5%. So if you're gonna wait for the pattern 70% confidence, the 75% are gonna reach this again of uh, 5%, okay? If you're gonna wait for more uh, confidence, they're gonna get this type of uh, a number of patterns uh, percentage-wise reaching this. But as you can see, this number drops. Uh, this, we found 987 uh, patterns. And if I have 60%, I have more patterns. So the more confidence, the fewer the patterns, okay? So, and this is a brief introduction to the trading with the patterns. As I said, we're finding all kinds of them. So for instance, rectangular type of patterns. So we find this type of uh, movements of the price, and then they also give the statistical results based on, on, on these uh, modeled results, okay? So then, uh, what you can do is set up advanced search. So for stocks, if you want to have uh, stocks and, and penny stocks, then uh, you have uh, this uh, opportunity, but let's assume we exclude. Then you can edit uh, where you're gonna find it. Either you can do it for the specific list or for specific categories. We're right now working for the more features, but let's assume you want to have only uh, banks and a biotechnology, you give save, and then uh, we're going to find only for the banks and for the biotechnology. So this is the results, okay? You see, uh, uh, then uh, what uh, uh, we can have, uh, what type of patterns. So it, it, it finds only bullish. If I want to find bearish, I have to click here, okay? Now, oh, you can direct the system to find for you patterns of a particular type. You see all of them here included. What you can do, you can exclude and say, okay, I'm interested only in that type of rectangular patterns, okay? And uh, uh, there are not a lot of them, uh, but what you can do, let's say, I like only triangular patterns, okay? So you see, this is uh, only triangular pattern types. And then uh, the system is going to be finding for you all triangular type of like consolidation type of patterns, okay? Uh, there is no consolidation, there's an increase of volatility, okay, safe. And now I am uh, here, uh, you see, I have only patterns which are triangular, you see triangle, the same triangle, this and that. Then I have these results. Uh, so we publish in when it was emerging and it confirmed. What it means emerging, what it means confirmed, I had to show you here, you see, when, uh, it gets to this point, uh, about approximately this territory, and goes up, we say it is emerging. When it crosses the breakout, it is confirmed. And then the confirmed patterns have better probabilities, but some people like uh, uh, emerge patterns because you can get uh, more of them, okay? It depends on what you want. So let's continue to set up advanced search. So here I have only confirmed, I have only bullish. I have very specific type of patterns. Now confidence, you see? This is a minimum confidence you wanna set up to find. Price range between zero and 200. I want, let's say, find only, let's say, less than 100. And then distance to target, 7% minimum, right? So if I want to have, uh, let's say, 5%, then it's gonna be finding 5%, okay? Uh, now this is the result. So every time you change this advanced search criteria, then you're gonna have a different list of results. Um, 
the uh, that's a for your research. Okay, so here you have this emerge confirmed confidence level. You can uh, sort by uh, you see this is the latest confirmed patterns. You can search by confirm. You can search by distance to target. Uh, these are potential gains which are uh, we are predicting for the patterns. You can bookmark. Uh, this type of parts. You can also test this type of uh, uh, companies uh, with these uh, patterns and, 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 and activate this uh, blue bar is activated. You can move to any other module uh, on our system, okay? So, but let's look inside triangle descending, let's say uh, this one, okay? Uh, you see here we give more information about the particular pattern. Uh, and then it's a bullish pattern. You see there was a breakout here. It moved down with the market, but this is a target price. There's a lot of statistic uh, right here, publishing all the description, all previous discoveries of this stock and the different type of patterns and whether or not they worked well. That's all the discoveries uh, right here, okay? So now go back to the advanced search. Uh, so I let's assume I'm kind of uh, happy with the type of patterns, with the pricing, with distance to target. Then what I can do, I can uh, set up pretty much the same in my daily alerts, okay? So I go here, set up alerts, and, and then that way I can uh, pretty much copy uh, whatever I had before, and then uh, I said 5%. When I move it here, okay? Uh, then I can uh, click start. And now from that moment on, I'm going to be receiving alerts uh, based on, on these settings, alert settings. So when you do it one search, you search. When you do daily alerts, you set up for alerts, okay? So if you bookmark any patterns, you can find them here, okay? So it, it, it is a really kind of a sophisticated tool which you can use and make your own discoveries of patterns, of uh, trends and everything, okay? Similar setup is in for the end of day data, it's a, a trend prediction engine. If you notice that for end of day data, uh, we have uh, uh, pretty much all asset classes. So we do not distinguish. But when it comes to the search of a similar patterns in the intraday type of activities, we give this engine specific. Like if you're interested only in stocks, you get in stocks, in crypto and crypto, forex and forex. Okay. But here, when you get end of day, you get all asset class and you can customize what you want to find. Okay. Let's move to the trend prediction engine. So, what it does it do? It does uh, the following. Okay. Uh, it finds trends and then kind of predicts if these trends are going to continue. We cannot predict with this AI the trends which go too far. We do it for traders. So that means it's a trend for a week and for a month. Okay. That's a bullish, bullish, and then sideways we predict and then bearish. So only six type of uh, uh, patterns, uh, which are trend type of patterns. Okay. And the same thing, let's say I click here. I want to analyze statistics. You see, we made already 1.2 billion different predictions, okay? And then uh, uh, in the same statistics, all confidence level, if we increase, let's say 60% confidence level, we have a really good, we should put it percentage wise, uh, but these are the uh, results, okay? So the same thing, as you can notice, it's pretty much the same. But in addition, uh, there are mutual funds. Everything is the same. If you want to include penny stocks, you click here. If you want to exclude, don't click it, okay? The same minimum confidence, the same price range. And this is the predictions. If you want to find only bullish predictions, you leave only bullish prediction trends. And now below, you're going to see only bullish type of uh, uh, predictions which we are making, okay? The same thing, if you want, if you're satisfied with the search criteria, you like everything because you can again edit uh, this list and set it up the, the way you want. Then you go to the daily alerts. 
and uh, alert settings, and you get pretty much the same. Okay. So these are the major tools for their construction of their uh, engines and finding uh, that by yourself when you don't mind to kind of spend some time, understand the tools, and then get this customized for yourself. If you're having troubles with this type of tools, then we have a much easier tool to understand where we're pretty much taking these tools and then create robots, which are making trades, uh, paper trades, uh, simulated trades in this type of uh, section called AI robots, okay? So what you do, you say, okay, I wanna find stock, uh, ETF type of robots, if you exclude Forex and crypto. And then uh, look here, uh, this is a trend traders based on the type of uh, trend prediction engines. Uh, then you see swing traders, uh, you see here gains and uh, uh, losses, okay? Uh, so let's go and let's say uh, trend traders, your details, okay? So here you see the, uh, description, okay, how we build that type of robots. Uh, and then here is as if it is brokerage account, okay. What it does, it goes to the short position and long position. Uh, the profit uh, and then in, in, in dollars and then in percentage wise. And then what you can do, you can open the similar position and then record it in your paper trades. In the paper trades, you just kind of simulating what's going on, okay? If you wanna see statistic of this particular robot, you click here and you see pretty much everything, annualized uh, profit and loss 76%, maximum open positions and everything. It's amount of each trade, so it's kind of simulated. Every time we put 10,000 to the trade and then get all the statistics, you see? It's pretty good statistics. A long position one is 72%, 73%. So what that means, this type of robots making pretty good uh, trades. And now look, average duration 21 days. That's exactly what day trader was looking for, okay? Uh, and then uh, making very few trades. Um, yeah, average profit is worse than average loss. But with this type of guessing game, 72, 73%, it's, it's, it's okay, okay? So here, here you can see all kinds of other type of uh, statistics. And then uh, you can use this robot and follow these robots uh, by making customization. What kind of customization? Enable notification, click here. You, now you are gonna get this type of notifications from this robot if you subscribe, okay? So you can customize, how you customize? Very minimum customization. So for instance, here, if you wanna have only long positions, uh, then you leave on the buy signals, okay? Uh, here you see 97 uh, stocks out of 485 uh, maximum, okay? So white ones, those are chosen, those you can add. So for instance, if you wanna add alkali, you add, now becomes white, and now it's 98, right? So if you want to add more, let's say ADI or Adobe, you click here. So in order to view more about the ticker, you can view it right here, okay? Uh, and again, also set up signals uh, as well, okay? So you apply. So now the regional robot now is being customized uh, with a few clicks. And now you're going to be uh, following 98 stocks. So you're gonna get emails about uh, the trading of this robot. And by clicking apply, now you all set, uh, everything is good to go. And this is the change. Why uh, you have an annualized p &L change? Because you added two stocks. I added two stocks, which now changing the statistics, okay? So that's the three major tools in the, uh, our kind of pricing model, you go here, okay? Uh, so you see for swing trader, uh, you, uh, uh, it's, it's kind of annualized type of pricing. I can show you what you would see if you did not subscribe yet, okay? So uh, you go here because I'm already subscribed. You see, the way you do that, 
uh, you can add robots, or you, if you don't want to uh, add robots, then uh, you can do it. This is a monthly rate, $60. 36%, $36, it's a monthly type of a discounted rate if you buy uh, for a year. So we give 40% if you buy for a year. So let's say you want to add uh, $90 uh, is uh, your robot, okay? So you add here, as you see, it's uh, uh, $90 per month, but you keep all other tools. Let's try it again. You see, here you subscribe pattern search engine and trend prediction engine, which I showed you. And you say, ah, I'm still interested in the robot. Because we're giving $60 monthly credit, you see now it's 60. I add instead of uh, 60 plus 90, 150, you still get 90. Why? Because this robot gives you $60 credit and you get these tools for free. Okay. So $90 per month. It is the rate monthly. If you subscribe monthly, if you buy for an entire year, we give 40% discount. This is a, your rate, a monthly rate. If you buy for an entire year, you click select and you do your subscription. Okay. As you can see, this is a swing trader I covered. Uh, now, uh, for the day trader, similar thing. Uh, what we recommend is a pattern search engine uh, and then uh, uh, a re real time. Uh, uh, it's end of day, okay? So the recommendation is that, uh, so this real-time patterns and the patterns should change on end of day because it, it helps. Uh, but if you want to add robot, the same trick. You add, it's $90, and then you see uh, opportunities to uh, get uh, everything else, okay? So let me cover what uh, you can get uh, here as a, uh, uh day trader okay so i'm gonna go log in uh very easily click on the facebook i always get through the facebook uh now i'm here okay it's a kind of annual so day trader now i'm going here and then real-time patterns it's a different type of a setup because now it's a feed so what you see when the market is open then you're going to be able to see this type of patterns come into your page and then uh, what type of customization you see it's kind of a similar type of customization but now uh the time frames over five minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes one hour four hours and one day so this one day end of day date is already included you uh, set up push notifications uh, similar thing you can select the industry select all okay and then uh, save so now it's gonna be searching for all markets and finding all real-time patterns and it's gonna to put to the feed. Now, whatever the patterns are right now in the play, okay? So let's uh, see what it's gonna find. See, it found all patterns, uh, but let's see pattern stocks. Uh, you see uh, now ETFs, no, 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 no ETFs. Uh, pattern types, okay? Now, uh what type of pattern types it's finding you see it's finding also type of uh, triangular patterns okay uh, i can again change types of patterns uh uh and then customize i want if i want to add and i add and then by saving i direct uh this engine to find the patterns uh on the different time frames okay so on the five minutes and the 15 minutes uh, time frames, okay? Um, so when you see here, you see now time frames, five minutes, it's a really short, uh, short term type of a patterns. And then it's a triangular one, okay? It gives pretty much the same. Look, uh, current confidence, it's a 39%. Uh, target uh, price at the exit, uh, and this is entrance. Okay, so you should enter as close to possible to this price as the exit. You can make 1% within a very short period of time. And then if you look at the statistics, uh, then it's a 40%, it's a 70%, you see it's 85% at, uh, success rate. If you forgot what is this pattern all about, you click here and you read about this pattern and how all of this uh, setup, okay? And you can also make a paper trade, right? Right here and record in the paper trade. I already mentioned a couple of times 
about the paper trades. And let's look at my paper trade. Uh, what's going on here? Okay, this is my paper trade. I've been uh, uh, paper trading since it was established. We're going to look at uh, my statistic, and I will show you some tricks here about the robot. So it's about 683 uh, trends. Market is down. Uh, and these are the trades. Uh, this is the statistics. Okay, uh, it's annualized P twenty nine percent. I'm doing really well on the ratio and uh, some of the stuff. Uh, and this is a recorded trade. But uh, the, the the good thing is, I'm already not making any uh, trades manually. I'm setting up my robots on the autopilot. So what happens that when I selected some of these swing trader, swing trader, day trader, so some of the stuffs, right? I turn it on, okay? And then I'm getting copies of all these trades to the, uh, this list. So if I wanna follow simultaneously several lists, then I'm gonna be able to uh, really see all trades in, in, in right here, okay? So actually working on the capabilities to make records of the similar trades on the real uh, brokerage accounts, okay? Uh, so let's see where uh, am I? So I said about the swing trading, I showed the tools for day trading, I showed robots, kind of actually I already said it, for day trading and swing traders for both. And then for the rest of the time, I will briefly tell you about our uh, screener, okay, very sophisticated screener. So how to get to the screener, you click here, screener home, okay. It's a very interesting tool um, since we are making uh, buy sell recommendations for the uh, individual stocks, we make recommendations for the group, okay. So for instance, uh, here, not only industries, I can select industries, uh, major banks and some other tracking, uh, yeah, and this is the games for some period of time. And then this is the buy recommendations for the entire industries. That's what we think is a, is a good thing to buy. Uh, and then if I do like that, this is a lot of strong sales at this moment in the market. Okay, so you can make money by shorting the positions. Okay, so this is about the group trends. You can look at what the gains you have with the different industry and the different intervals. Um, and then what is a good thing is that you get uh, these buy sell recommendations and you create filters, okay? I will show you briefly reset filters just to kind of remove everything. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, uh, so how many stocks? It's about 4,400, I'm sorry, yeah, 54, 100 stocks, which we cover, okay? If you wanna switch uh, to another asset class, you do it right here, ETS, mutual funds, and so on, okay? So we we'll stay with stocks. Now, uh, what I'm saying is that I'm gonna get uh, all stocks which are uh, buy, okay? So we we'll how many buys? I have 1,300 stocks to buy, okay? So you see all of them buys, okay? Uh, this is all analysis we're giving for the stocks by fundamental analysis, uh, technical analysis, uh, fundamentals, earnings and dividends page. Uh, I'm not going to go to details as I did before because it's a brief overview. I have webcasts for each module separately. Okay. Um, but, but the good thing is that uh, you create these features. Okay. Uh, so expand, as you can see, I started building filter. I uh, wanna get all the buys, okay? And then I also want to get market capitalization, let's say between 10 and 200 billion, okay? And now you see this feature is this one. Then I want to have, uh, uh, what else? In the, let's say, fundamental analysis. I want to have valuation rating, undervalued. So that means I still want to have a stocks which are buy, but they are undervalued according to our module. Okay, so if we look at this valuation, you can read what is the valuation. It is a green, that means it's good, red, it's not, right? 
Uh, so there's a lot of reds uh, today on the market, but uh, there's still uh, stocks that are a buy, uh, we think, and it is undervalued, okay? So as you can see, the filter is uh, recorded as if it is uh, stocks, excluding penny, where we excluded penny stocks, okay? You see, this is a stocks, all stocks. This is a stocks excluding penny stocks. This is only penny stocks. This is OTC over the counter stock. So you can one click kind of get the subsets very quick, okay? Uh, so I have about 150 stocks which satisfy to this criteria, okay? And that means this filter extracted uh, this list, which I can analyze and see what's going on. But the question is whether or not it uh, worked out with this filter well back in the history. So we have a time machine. What you can do, you can turn on this machine and then select any time uh, back in the history and transfer that filter, the same filter, back to the say December 6, uh, 2019. And now you actually see whether or not the filter worked well. So I'm not gonna go deep into the analysis and the work of this uh, uh, time machine, but it's pretty much a back testing of the features, which is very sophisticated uh, capability. And that's also kind of recommended for both uh, day traders and the swing traders, okay? So what is the real uh, workflow for the uh, day traders or the swing traders in our platform, okay? So what you do is, let me turn it off, okay? So what do you do? You create a watch list out of a particular uh, screener feature, okay? So you created a, a list, okay? It is mostly fundamental analysis, even though you can include some technical analysis data to the feature, that's okay. Uh, but you have a pretty big uh, step. You uh, selected about 150 stocks you wanna work with, okay? So then you can kind of activate this blue bar and then create either portfolio or the watch list or copy to the clipboard and then use it any way you want, okay? And then you can then move it to your tools, which I already described. So for instance, I now selected about 20 stocks and I'm curious for tomorrow for the day trading, uh, what can I see in terms of uh, patterns, okay? So you see real-time patterns, stocks, and ETFs, right? Uh, for the stocks, so I'm clicking here now. That list of about 150 stocks being transferred to this instant search. So now these stocks are right here with analysis of the pattern. So what is the sequence? First, you use fundamental analysis to kind of extract the uh, kind of big chunk and then you take technical analysis, pattern analysis, and a trade as a day trader uh, with uh, particular time frames. Okay, so if you want a, a kind of longer period of time, you unclick this, and you leave for only one day. So you kind of are uh, looking at what's going on with the one day time frame. Okay, uh, it's end of day data. Uh, so this is uh, 40 minutes I've been doing that. Uh, if you guys have questions, uh, but in fact, this type of video is going to be uh, posted uh, here in the uh, webcast. You're gonna be able to view that, and then you're gonna be able to use that uh, video as an overview, a kind of brief overview, what we have as a major tools. We have more tools. So for instance, as you can see in the pricing, uh, we have some investor types of tools, okay? So you go here, you go to investing, okay? So here is a, how to build portfolios, um, how to find the good portfolios, which uh, uh, also uh, a good way to follow screener and the marketplace. Uh, it's actually a kind of, maybe I will make another overview of the marketplace where people are exchanging their own ideas, uh, either paper trace exchange, a watch list exchange, and then you can publish your own watch list, you can publish your own portfolios, you can participate in the trader clubs, investor clubs, find what other people are predicting, for instance, it's a big community, people are predicting, uh, kind of making 
uh, manual predictions. There's a lot of people participating. We're making the competitions and everything else, okay? In academies, <laughs> since I'm doing this, you can guys uh, actually do one-on-one -on -one lesson. You can actually buy educational courses. You can watch webcasts as you're doing right now. You can invite friends and then read blogs, eBooks, uh, view videos, okay? So tons of videos here, let's say, if you wanna look at all the webcasts, you can look at them right here, okay? So I'm going to finish on this uh, note. If you don't have any questions, then I uh, uh, hope uh, that type of overview is going to be useful, particularly in the recording type of uh, uh, format and uh, uh, people are gonna use it. We're gonna put it to our YouTube uh, library. Uh, this our, uh, uh, what's wrong with YouTube? Um, something wrong with YouTube, okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, so, but at the same time, you can also download, uh, oh, okay, internet is unstable. Okay, guys, I'm gonna finish because my internet is not good. Thank you and goodbye.